when you travel to Japan, you maybe take a public transportation. So, when you do this, do we have to use paper ticket? No, we don't have to. We can use this IC card, for example, Suica. And I'm Coco. I'll go with Nanami today. This narration sounds like a Suica commercial, but it's not like that. Today, I'll introduce Suica. Suica is a rechargeable pass that can be used on many railway lines and other public transportations in Japan. Yeah, the beginning of this video might have sounded like a Suica commercial, but it's not, unfortunately. Anyways, in this video, we're going to show you how to use a Suica card when traveling in Japan. With this rechargeable card, you won't need to do any complicated math or use paper tickets. We'll cover everything from how to purchase a Suica card to how to recharge it, and even how to get a refund when your Japan trip is over. So, stay tuned till the end of this video! Before we dive into the main topic, let's take a look at the bigger picture of transportation system in Japan. In many major regions of Japan, they have their own unique rechargeable transportation cars, but don't worry. The great thing about Suica is that these major cars are all compatible with each other. So if you purchase a Suica card in Tokyo and then travel to Osaka, you can still use your Suica card on Osaka's public transportation as well. In Tokyo, there are actually two cars available, Suica and Pasmo. They're from different companies, but these two cars cover almost the same routes and areas. So, even though we are talking about Suica today, all this information will mostly apply to Pasmo as well. Suica can be used on trains, subways, most buses, and to some extent even on a Shinkansen. However, as of now, using it on the Shinkansen requires a setup process or booking through the Japanese website. So for short trips with Shinkansen, using paper tickets or a JR pass might be easier. Now, let's talk about the first steps to using these magical cards. So when and where can you get a Suica card? If you are a type of a person who wants everything prepared in advance, you can purchase it online and have it delivered to your home before your trip. Otherwise, the main places where you can purchase the card are any JRE's ticket machines or JRE's travel service centers. If you want to pick it up immediately upon arrival, you can get it at both Haneda and Narita Airport. Or you can buy Suica and Pasmo cards at ticket machines anytime and anywhere in the city. Okay. Before explaining how to purchase it from the ticket machines, let me show you the special cards designed for the tourists to Japan. Welcome Suica and Pasmo Passport are rechargeable cards created for short-time travelers. The main difference with the basic ones is that they automatically expire after 28 days and any remaining balance cannot be refunded. However, Welcome Suica does not require a 500 yen deposit, so it might be more convenient depending on how you want to use it. You can pick this up at the service centers at Narita and Haneda Airport. Now, let's say you've just arrived in Japan and want to purchase a Suica card from a ticket machine. Here's how you can do it. If you don't have a Suica card, you have to buy one. Okay, now let's buy new Suica card. Actually, there's a new uh, two two options of new Suica card. The one is um, the original standard Suica card, and the other is the card with a name. <laughs> the good thing about card with name is that when you lost the new card, the card with the name get back to you. But the choice is up to you. I'll choose the card with no name. The machine has an English option. So I'll choose this. The card is fully displayed in English. Perfect. The displayed in English. 
Now, let me choose a new speaker card. When you use this machine, you can't use credit card. You can only use cash. And there are several price options. For example, the cheapest one is 1,000 yen. But the 500 yen is for deposit. Other 500 yen is your money. So you can use 500 yen during your trip. This time, I'll choose 1,000 yen. So I'll put 1,000 yen bill inside the machine here. I got a new Suica card. This is ours. There's also Suica card for children up to the age of 12, which you can get for half the price. But in order to get one, you'll need to purchase it at the ticket service center and show the proof of age. Once you have your Suica card, you're ready to explore the city. Just tap your card to the card reader to pass through the gate, both when entering and exiting the station. When you exit, the fair amount and card balance will be displayed on the gate screen. Now, what if you need to recharge your card after enjoying a fantastic trip? Just like buying the Suica, you can recharge it at any ticket machine. Insert your card into the card slot, switch to English, and select the amount you want to add. Once that's done, insert your cash into the machine and get your change, and that's it. Say you finished your trip, and when exiting, you realize your card balance is not enough to pass through the gate. Usually, there's a fare adjustment machine right by the ticket gate, and you can recharge using the same method. Now, after completing your dream trip around Japan, you want to get your remaining card balance back. To do this, just go to the ticket service center and simply hand your card to the staff and they'll calculate and give you the cash. It'll cost you 220 yen as a processing fee and it'll be deducted from your card balance. And even if your balance is at zero, you'll still get the full 500 yen deposit back. Some stations may have staff who can speak English. We went to the service center in Shinjuku and received good English support. The Suica card is not just a magical tool to make using public transportation easy, but you can also use it for payment in many shops, convenience stores, station lockers, vending machines, and so on. You just have to look for the Suica logo. So Suica can be used for other things than just getting on the train. Let's see what we can do. Vending machine. In today's world of technology and convenience, you may have already guessed that Suica and Pasmo can be used on mobile phones. And yes, it is true, but there are some limitations. For iPhone users, in order to add the card to your wallet app, you'll need to change your mobile phone's version to Japan. Android users, on the other hand, they need to have smartphones purchased in Japan to use the card with Google Pay. This can be a great option if you're staying in Japan for a long term. However, for those on short trips, using physical cards might be easier. Do you understand how to use Suica? Let's use the Suica and enjoy your trip in Japan! Bye!